All right. It's been a while since I've turned on the camera. Holy crap, I can't see anything. We are in the Loopster's humble abode because we're gonna do some squats, the actual squats. It's been so freaking long. One, since I've seen the Loopster, and two, since we've done actual squats because he, you know, he actually purchased a bar. Look at that, boom. Not just the bar? Not just the bar. Are these little uh, things in those blankets right here. <laughs> yeah, he bought weights too. So we're actually gonna do some squats. You know, granted, the setup is gonna be extremely janky and may just result in failure slash injury, but uh, you know, that's all part of it. But it should be pretty interesting, it should be fun because uh, it's been a really long time since we've actually done any, like, you know, bar, bar movements because we've just been messing with dumbbells and stuff. Because gyms are still closed and they seem like they'll still be closed over here until a while longer. Which sucks because they're opening in Dallas, dude. This weekend. Dallas numbers can go up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hello everybody. Welcome to the Loopster's backyard. We're doing some squats finally. Just trying to get that motion. Make sure that we still have the motion of the ocean. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, this is the first time squatting with the bar since the gym's closed. So it's got to have been about at least at, at least two months. It could have been even two and a half months. I'm not exactly sure. But it's been a while, so Josh actually, you know, took the plunge, bought um, the bar and some weights. It cost a lot, but it is a lifelong investment. So look, this is what I learned during this whole thing. There's one thing I learned. All right, let's see. It. Obviously, you saw that this barbell just rolled right off the thing, right? Because yeah, we're does. a little bit of a sound like it does. All right, watch this. We're watching. What are we looking at here? All right, and moving on. Since we don't have that many weights, we decided to just go up in small increments, like pretty much whatever we could, and just hit a bunch of reps and kind of get up to like a main weight. The purpose was just to get up to that heavy weight and kind of see what it feels like under the bar. Um, and like I said, just get back used to feeling this movement, make sure we don't completely lose our form, lose the, uh, the feeling of it, because I mean, it is such a big feeling thing. I remember, you know, before this whole gym thing closed, I was doing 315 pounds finally for four sets of four and it didn't feel bad at all. Maybe even five sets, I don't remember. But at least four sets of four and it didn't feel bad at all. So I uh, am under no disillusionment that I'm gonna suck now. Okay. Obviously we're not gonna get near anywhere near the weight that we would do in the gym because what Josh doesn't even have that many weights. But the point is to get like, oh there's some dust on here. Just to get some of this movement to make sure that we, you know, don't forget how to do the movement oh, completely. What's most important is uh, because we have sunlight, it's uh -huh. killing the virus. All right, so moving on to the next set. It's just 15 kilos on each side. That's about 33 pounds on each side. So all of these warm-up sets or what the weight that I thought was not really worthy of being the working weight, I kind of just arbitrarily went for reps. I don't, I don't remember having an exact number. I think it, was, it must have been between eight and 15 because typically if I'm arbitrarily warming up and I'm like, oh, it's pretty light, especially on this kind of day where I knew we're not gonna get that much weight and I just wanted to get that volume in. I just did enough to really feel it and kind of uh, be like, okay, I got a lot of reps there. And here's Josh just, uh, you know, trolling around. Just kidding, he's actually stretching. It just looks a little funny. We're on the 20 kilos. This is about almost 45 pounds, not quite. Wow, this is literally the song I was just singing. So on to this set. This is 20 kilograms on each side. That's about 44 pounds, not quite the 45, but pretty close. Anyways, didn't show the uh, clean and press or whatever it's called on this set just because I did it. It was a little janky though. I see my hat's a little disoriented because I hit my hat on the way up because this weight's a little heavy, not easy for me to control. This is about the max weight that I can do that clean and press anyways and land it safely on my back. So that's the struggle of not having the rack, obviously, finding a way to get the weight on your back because we can definitely squat all the weights that Josh has, but it's just about can we actually get it on our back? And now we're discussing how I should, we're discussing the abort plan, you know? I'm like, okay, should I drop it? But Josh said, I'll just lift it off your back for this set. Teamwork. This is an experience for sure, boys and girls. Alrighty, so we have gone back down to the 15 kilogram weights. Look, look, I'm intense. That's, yeah, not the easiest motion for me. And this is where things start getting a little bit janky. You see how we have to uh, stay there, kind of braced core fireman's carry this this uh, bar 
while waiting for your partner to load the other weights on your back. It's actually, you know, it doesn't seem like a big deal, but for me, I don't know about y'all guys, but if you've ever tried that, it is very intense on your core when you're just like really bracing and it's like one side of the core too. You're bracing one side of your core while you're waiting for your partner to get to the other side and put the other weight on. I don't think this is, I'm talking about like this is some common kind of thing, but it's really not. Just finding ways to put the weight on the bar, but it's pretty good weight right there. All right, we definitely just skipped. Accidentally forgot to record my set on this, but uh, we're moving up in weight. Screw it. So this was the next increment. is a 20 and a 15 kilo on each side, which totals out to about 199 pounds total, which is actually starting to get like decent weight if you're just trying to rep it out, which I don't even know. Like, typically I would try to rep this weight out, you know, or I would rep this weight out because it's not that much. But after holding it and bracing your core, like that's the thing that I struggle with the most and that I noticed with the 315 it's like my legs are pretty strong but it's really hard to keep that core tight and keep everything upright and if you can't do that then it's gonna be really hard to actually squat that weight back up so I don't know how many reps I'm doing here it looks like about eight or maybe ten I don't really know I kind of lost count there but uh, yeah it only gets harder and harder loading the weights as we go up in weight okay I'm gonna record Josh's set. I'm gonna record from the side because his uh, pants are a little too loose. If you know what I'm saying, you feel me, you feel me, you feel me. <laughs> Got a little bit of, what are you gonna do with all that junk? All that junk. <laughs> not much, it was coronavirus. <laughs> 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 At least I'm not the only one, right? Before true, was, true, I was true. the only one. True. <laughs> now we're on level playing field. Show it to him. Let him know. Let's go, Kai. He's PR on the freaking clean right here. Ooh. Oh, God, <laughs> He's got it. Can he get it over? Hey! Easy mode. I, think I got the Alright, he's good. PR, baby. <laughs> <laughs> In the middle of the freaking. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Let's go, Kai. Oh. Jeez, Louise. The speed oh. right here. The speed on this man. I've ever been to. Really? I think, like weight wise. That's crazy. Well, pretty close. Cause I think the biggest I've ever been was 192. And I'm like right at 192. That is shit. Jeez. <laughs> at least you're holding it well. Whoa, that looked intense. All right, we've reached, we've reached the final destination. Since we are out of plates, we gotta just put all the plates on. And I think Josh said it's about 240, 240 pounds, which is uh, nothing like, not crazy, because I've definitely done more than that. But um, I'm gonna be honest right here, holding the weight on your back and having him place it on the side, like that core's already gone by the time like I'm in the squat. So it makes it actually really hard. So what's a good number? I'm gonna attempt to do eight reps. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt to do eight reps after holding the weight up. We'll see how it goes. And yeah, let's uh, let's not die here. Let's just give it all we got, boys. Give it all we got. Oh my ribbon, no! Careful. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Fireman's carry. Fireman's carry. Oh. Ah. All right, go. My neck. So this was an absolute struggle and Josh just says right here in the video, remember you can ditch it because it, uh, yeah, it's like I was very exhausted. Our core was absolutely gone after holding the bar for that long. And uh, just to some calculations, this is 243.4 pounds. There are um, 45 kilos on each side plus the bar. And so total that's about... 243.4 pounds. I think I went for a solid eight reps here. I was really determined to get the eight, uh, regardless of if I had to grind it out. So it's crazy, because like this never used to be a grinding weight, 243.4, but uh, nowadays, especially after that first part, it is, it is not the easiest. I'm gonna be so weak when I get back in the gym. I'm gonna be squatting no damn weight. Josh said he's gonna try to clean this thing, so let's see if he can do it, let's see if he can pull it out. Pull it out for the quarantine cuties out there. Like the thing is, to all the quarantine cuties out there. I've been working my belly so I can use my make my belt more effective. 
That's been the plan all along. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. I don't have enough explosiveness and mentally, I can do a good job. <laughs> all right, there we go. Bars loaded. <laughs> All right, so this is the last one. Josh is going for that same weight. Let's I think Josh on. only gets five here. Let's spoiler go. alert, spoiler alert. But anyways, yeah, we didn't have that much time. I had to leave right after this. I was actually going to play tennis, and I just we kind of like just spontaneously said, oh, yo, let's just hit up some squats. Let's try this out. But definitely there will be more time in future oh. workouts in this backyard for however long we have to be in there for. But uh, yeah, it's going to end this one, guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace!